actually very happy that I upgraded the shields now. Keep firing. Can't you auto fire this one? Oh, oh it's this one. Auto fire. Next, take out the uh, the engines so the it'll be easier to hit. He might be leveling a lot. But yeah, look at this. Every time he hits me, he levels one time in. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Should probably just not hurt him. Though. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. I can get one guy who's called Boreman. Yeah, he's another bug. Sure. Let's um, let's accept this offer. It's another crew member. He's always valuable. And his name is Borman. Can I rename him? Probably if I go here. Let's not immediately dismiss him. That would be silly. So we got Squee. This guy can be can be the brain. And yeah, you can be in charge of the beam laser. It's like secondary, but it's still. Now let's jump. Oh, we got two stores now. Let's um, you know, let's go back to the first store since that window is rapidly closing. There's only one other ship at this beacon, and it's showing heavy damage. Receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates, and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a traveling merchant. Hmm. Oh, this one's good. <laughs> this means my guys can never die, but they'll lose um, levels, so they'll be worse as the... Uh... Yeah, they'll die. But it'll be better than they actually dying right off, so... How much does... Um... <clears throat> selling these? Oh, I can't sell these. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, well then uh, 30 for 10 was probably a good deal then. They cost 6 for 3? Yeah. Um, what do we want here? Backup battery? Price 4 bonus, po bonus power. 30 second power boost your reactor. That seems... Might be life saving, but it seems a bit unnecessary. It's reverse ion field, I like that. Because the ion field is gonna fuck my shields later on. Uh, and this is also very good. Let's um, let's install the reverse ion field. I really like that. And let's um, fix as much as we can. We have enough fuel, so we can just go on. Uh, we should take uh, neg negligible damage uh, this time around because of our double shields. So let's just keep jumping. Now, this path might be a bit risky now. So we can go here, 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 here. Yeah, let's do that. Make it so. You jump into an unremarkable system, no life signs detected within scanning range. Exciting. Sometimes this is the kind of sector you really want, but right now, we want scrap. We want lots of it. So this is bad for us. Um, let's see. So this and this and this, that should probably be fine. I think it should be. And we can go here. Can we then go here? Maybe? Let's go here first. 
scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Shortwave scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FDL to recharge. Explore the asteroid fields. We're not cowards, are we? Let's do it. A brief exploration yields nothing of interest. Oh. Oh well. Let's just uh, prepare a new jump. Go here. A rebel ship has been patrolling this region. As soon as you arrive, it begins its assault. Finally. Something happens. So he's got um, some big ass laser and uh, this thing that can't get through shields. I think this only fires once, so it can only take one shield anyway, so I think we're fine. Now upgrading your shields to two from the first sector, that's pretty much really good. It means you take no damage on the first two sectors. Um, take out his shields. Nice. Suck. Just keep shooting there. There should be people in here now that's repairing. Yeah. Now they went to these two spots. Nice. Yeah. Just keep it up, uh, Ken. Nice shooting. I just realized an exploit for this game, though. You could get this guy to like uh, next level, or you, I don't know how far this actually goes. But you could get this uh, if you just turn off the. Turn off all your weapons at this point. They would just keep shooting at the shields and he would just level up. And again, the ship explodes, we get fuel, missiles, and spare parts, which we want. So now we are 25. Now we can go to the shop here. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Nice. So there we can actually buy the mind control that we saw from that uh, drone, drone, uh, drone earlier. Um, I think we probably would need to have uh, some sort of scanners for that. Um, hacking? Targets a single system, locking its door and granting the ability to temporarily disable or disrupt it. Requires drone parts. Don't really want that. Could take half damage from low oxygen. Not interesting. Adds additional info about nearby beacons. Not interesting. Hacking is done. All creatures are room during a hacking pulse will be stunned for the duration. Now this could be good, but it's very situational, so let's not go for that. Um, for these other things, we have enough of just about everything. Let's, I guess, repair a little bit. There we go. Don't have to re waste everything. I really like this though. 50% chance to negate uh, iron damage entirely. That's very powerful. That's pretty much the only thing that could shut us down right now. We have two shields, and if they have uh, iron uh, iron cannons, they can shut down the shield for a longer duration than it takes for them to refire. Um, so this actually gives us a good odds to not uh, take any damage at all. Let's just keep jumping. Now. I was thinking here, then there, and then we can choose if we want to go here, and then the exit. But uh, this is looking very close now. Eh, we gotta risk it. Come on. An especially well armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Is, is this the same guy or some other guy? Now we're still not gonna surrender and want to slavers, so how about ye? Uh, let's turn off the med bay, get more power to the engines. I don't think he can actually take down our shields this time. Um, so let's just focus on the shields. And let's close that door. <laughs> Yeah, just keep focus on the shields, no power, no point doing anything else. Oh, he doesn't fire? Whoa, 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 he just got through our shields. How did that happen? Oh, 
Right, this doesn't... Right, 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 right. It's like, yeah... Uh, took some damage to the weapons there. Oh yeah, it carries. So this thing fires twice. So having power to the engine is actually very beneficial here. Right. Power up the burst lasers. So burst laser fires three times, this time fires twice. If you could get something that fires four times for two power, that would be a very great weapon. Oh, he took on both the shields. Oh, and they're back up before he fires this thing. Very good. Um, screw the shields. Focus on his health. Yeah, he's down. And um, artillery beam also hit. The difference between the artillery beam and uh, these things is that this thing also passes through shields. So it's better, but it's also built into the ship. I don't think he can do very much just now. Take down the weapons. Yeah. I think you're uh, pretty much bone, little buddy. Now he wants to give us another um, insectoid. Uh, and crew members are very hard to get by, so although I would like a Sultan, um, I will take this guy. But I might actually sell one of the crew later, because now we're full up. Or do we? No, we have two more slots anyway. Alright. Swamps, why are you greener for some reason? particular reason why you're greener than the other guys? Is that what happens when insects get sun? They get greener? Probably. Maybe. Possible. You see that? They got different colors. That's actually quite neat. All of them do. This is bluish, this is slightly greenish, this is very greenish. Um, you can just stay in the O2 room. We don't want to lose the O2 when it's critical. So, get this back on, check the health of everyone. Reinhardt is a great captain, just checking uh, everyone's health all the time. Um, right, let's keep jumping, so we can actually make this great. So that was a um, sweet tactical maneuver by Reinhardt there. You're immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers! Stay a while and listen! Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat! Care to take up a bit of a mercenary work? I'll listen to your offer. Sure. A space dock is under assault from the rebels! Although the dock is technically illegal within their laws, it's very important for our trade. We'll pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save them. Okay, I'll rescue the store. And they transmit the space dock's coordinates. And I get a new quest, so let's hope I can actually get there. Which I can't. Or where is it? Where is the quest? Oh, actually, it might be in another sector. Okay, uh, let's go there, then to the exit. I think that should be just within reach. So, we go here first. Uh, the beacon at first glance seems to home to a junkyard. Upon closer inspection, it reveals itself to be a ramshackle market. One trader has a deal that catches your eye. I can trade three rockets for two drones. That would be actually a good deal, but I'm not gonna do that since I don't have rockets. Uh, and there's a distress beacon here. I'm almost positive that this is gonna be in the red. But I really want to take the Distress Beacon. Kind of decisions you have to make here. What does Reinhardt says? Make it so. Alright, Distress Beacon it is. Once you arrive at the location of Distress Call, a civilian ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Yeah. Well, alright, come along. 
Take this bit of scrap as a down payment while use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. So there's a quest marker in the next sector and I got 12 scrap out of that. And the exit is within reach. So that was a uh, bullsy move, but uh, paid off. So now let's just jump the, to the next sector. You have arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Oh, there is something here. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensor indicates it's a storage vessel for military goods. So it's one of these guys again. Now I can attack the automated ship to get to the storage cap. Or just avoid provoking it. So, yeah, we're gonna attack it. And he has a rocket launcher and one of these things that can't harm us. The rocket launcher, however, can pass through shields and possibly shut down the shields. That would be the most terrible thing, because then this thing can get through as well. So, um, let's put as much power we can into the engines to be able to uh, evade. And let's target their, uh, the drone's weapon systems immediately, because I don't want him firing in more rockets than he absolutely has to. And he targets the shields. Still only took down one down, so that was lucky. And we took out his uh, rockets, so he can do nothing more to us. Let's take out the hell. Eat it! Now he's a sitting duck, take out the shields. There we go. Uh, take out that annoying drone. Once that's done, the artillery beam is gonna finish him off. Kinda overkill, but he's dead. So, there we go. Bye. I got 26 scrap out of that. Now, let's investigate the station. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. You find a functional schematic. I got an anti ship beam drone. And I got 11 scrap as well. That was an insane haul from that. So, I got this thing. It needs uh, a drone system though, which I don't have. And it uses drone parts every time I deploy it. Deploy it. I can't sell it though, obviously. So I think maybe I'll do that. This is an offensive beam and it only fires once. Uh, it's good to take down like one shield before you do something else. So I'll just hang on to it until I either sell it or get a uh, drone bay. I don't think I'll get a drone bay on this ship though. So I'll probably sell it. Now, Banks, you're dripping oil again. Just get in there and let's turn on the facility for you. Alright, get back to work. And we can jump. This time we can leave the sector. To up or down. This, they're both NG controlled. So, let's take the down one. For no apparent reason. Uh, you have arrived with NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough, and tough times for these robotic lifeforms. But they are usually willing to help. Alright, so there's one of the quests. Uh, I think we should just go straight for that. Go for this. Uh, there, there. Here, here, to this distress, down here, down to this quest. And I don't know if the rebels are gonna catch up to me by then, but uh, hopefully we can do both the quests. So let's go here first. Your ship is flooded with advertisement transmissions from nearby merchants as soon as you arrive at this beacon. You arbitrarily pick one of those, one to examine in detail. So, like I was saying though, I don't actually want drone parts, so two drone parts for nine fuel, I'll take it. So we just stocked up on fuel again. Very nice. Now let's take the quest. Once you arrive at the beacon, you detect a rebel scout assaulting a compound on a nearby desolate moon. So this is for the, not for the rock ship that was following me, but for the first quest. Engage the rebel and rescue the space dock. And he's got one of these thingies that flings something at us. Not sure what it was. Um, we have to take out the shields first here. Because he's got two shields, so there's only one shot that's gonna get through at uh, any point. 
So this might be a tough fight actually. Let's turn off the, um, the med bay and put it all into power. Uh, engines, I mean. Oh, whoa. We got intruders. Luckily, <laughs> I have two combat ready. Uh, two combat ready. Um, whatever they're called. Insects. They're gonna make short work of this guy. Yeah, look at this. Just gonna eat. It's like jumping aboard a ship full of those uh, critters from uh, Starship Troopers. And. Uh, they just love you. <laughs> now, the good part now is all these ships have like a set value, like they can have X amount of weapons or like drones or crews or something like that. This guy had a teleporter and some crews, so he's probably just got one more guy here that's gonna have to repair all the shit. Okay, this on level one. Yeah, there we go. He's got uh, level one in piloting. Very nice. Uh, very nice indeed. So these are gonna be just uh, bodyguards slash repair me. We're gonna heal. Oh my! It's just like a slag cannon or something. Something. Oh, oh. Target. So this uh, this place has caught fire now. It's a random chance for that to happen. Let's target the uh, weapons. There we go. If that last guy is in this room trying to repair the shields, he's gonna be in a world of hurt because he has to take out the fire and he's taking fire from us now. Alright, we can just jump right now, but obviously we want to save this uh, station. Here we go. The outpost heals you. Thank you! I don't know what we did to anchor the rebels, but they were ready to kill us! I'll show you our goods and patch up your hole. So we got five holes repaired and 23 scrap. Not a bad hole. Oh, and he sells stuff as well. Now, here we could buy this. The drone uh, drone control. But... I'm not actually sold on it. We're gonna have a bad time hurting things in just a small amount of time because of... Um, because of uh, our inability to upgrade our weapons, so maybe actually going for drones isn't the worst idea. I mean, let's do it. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, we got a defense drone on that, uh, so we can just sell it immediately. Uh, put the attack beam on instead. I uh, would love to have this thing though. Guess this can fire twice. Larger beam weapon. Oh no, this is the beam one. Not uh... Oh, so these are beam weapons, not uh, lasers. We want lasers on these, definitely as soon as possible. Uh, let's repair fully. There we go. Don't need power. Uh, now we don't want to sell any more of these uh, in the future. They cost 8 per piece. Um, probably don't want to buy any, so let's just uh, go with what we got. Do we have the option to upgrade uh, powers? No. Well, alrighty then. We do need power though to... Need two actually to uh, be able to fire one of these combat drones. All right, uh, we need to just get there, 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 and there. This is gonna be very tight. I don't think this is gonna work actually. Well, let's go back to see how we came. It should be empty now. Then go to this distress call. Distress signal or originates from a small engine ship under attack by a rebel fighter. Why are these rebels attacking everything? But when the rebels see the Federation markings, they turn to attack. We're obviously the Federation. Like a plot twist in uh, the old uh, Federation versus um, rebels um, trope. 
Uh, let's uh, go straight for the shields here as well, since he has two. He has a rocket launcher and a big ass cannon and a defense drone. This guy is well killed. Oh, what just happened? He also has a hacking thingy. Hack this branch up in this room. Doors are locked down. So this, uh, I can't get uh, from one side of the ship to the other. Wow, actually. Having this hacking ability and some uh, teleport pad would be an awesome way to conquer a ship. So what you could do is you could like hack like a central part like this one, or in my case this thing, and then you can teleport on this side of the ship. And these guys couldn't help, so you could just. Uh... And this is also the healing base, so you were able to take out this entire part of the ship. And these guys couldn't do anything. And what's this then? No, 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 no. Is he gonna do exactly? Exactly that? Yeah, it is! It's an ion intruder? What the hell are you? This guy is too goddamn kitted out. What the frack is that? I'm in trouble, guys. This is too much. What are you? You're not doing anything, though. Rocket fire to the. Oh, he's doing something. Okay, we got his uh, shield slightly down. Why do we. Uh, why do we have camera access to his ship? So you can see his little guys running around. I have no idea why we uh, have camera access to him now. What, what's he doing? No, 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 no! Ow! Brain! Get in there, help swamps. But what are you doing? Okay, so you can just go in and sap things. It's horrible. My shield area is also uh, hurting. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave this area as soon as fracking possible. Well, we're gonna do one uh, assault beam to see what it does. Get in there, repair uh, engines, quickly, 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 come on! Okay, so this just caught fire, very nice. I'm actually using it. Oh, what's he doing? He took out just a lot of things. I have his shields on the fritz now, I might actually win this. We got fires, let's vent these rooms into space. Take out these shields. Oh, he's about to die. I got this, guys. I got this. And he's not being... Uh, he's not able to fire anymore. Does have this annoying drone on board, though. Come on. Quench the fire. There we go. Shutting down the doors again. Fill these rooms with oxygen. Very nice! Yeah, that was a horrible fight. Surprised he didn't do more damage to me there. I think he missed a lot with the uh, rockets. The rebels are just the rebels destroyed. You pick the bones from the ship and wait for the small engine ship to catch up. So I got one fuel, one rocket, and 17 scrap from that. The engine whistle whistle turned out to be very poorly equipped. Barely a runabout, really. They're trying to outrun the rebels and need all the help they can get. So I can give them 25 scrap, or I can give them 40 scrap for 2 missiles and 2 fuel. Why Why would I give them anything? I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna help me further down the line somehow. But... I really need that scrap for myself, so you get nothing. NG can't feel fear, so they bear you no ill will, then you explain you're unwilling to help. They set off on their journey, and you do the same. Maybe I would have given me something else, but... Oh, this is now back up and running. Let's get everyone uh, that needs into med bay. Yeah. Let's use all these guys to repair uh, the hull bridge. Just remove them as they struggle to breathe. Goes. 
think we actually sealed the breach. Yeah, so it's filling with oxygen now. Good job, guys. Squee, are we doing on repairs? Very poorly. We're all very poor on this. Well, Squee, get here, repair this thing. I'm just gonna use these guys mostly to repair things because this guy has a very fast repair rate anyway. So I don't want him to level up, or don't need him to level up that much. That these guys, he's already at three of them.